brings me back to where I began. Those of us who've been sent here to serve, but that doesn't matter, but that doesn't matter, can learn a thing or two from the service of our troops. When you put on that uniform, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, Asian, Latino, Native American, conservative, liberal, rich, poor, gay, straight. When you're marching into battle, you look out for the person next to you, or the mission fails. Where you're in the thick of the fight, you rise or fall as one unit, serving one nation, leaving no one behind. And one of my proudest possessions is the flag that the SEAL team took with them on the mission to get bin Laden. On it are each of their names. Some may be Democrats. Some may be Republicans. But that doesn't matter. Just like it didn't matter that day in the Situation Room. When I sat next to Bob Gates, a man who was George Bush's defense secretary. But that doesn't matter. And Hillary Clinton, a woman who ran against me for president. All that mattered that day was the mission. But that doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. No one thought about politics. No one thought about themselves. About politics. About politics. About politics. About politics. One of the young men involved in the raid later told me that he didn't deserve credit for the mission. It only succeeded, he said, because every single member of that unit did their job. But that doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. Trusted each other. Trusted. 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 The pilot who landed the helicopter that spun out of control. The translator who kept others from entering the compound. The troops who separated the women and children from the fight. The SEALs who charged up the stairs. More than that, the mission only succeeded because every member of that unit trusted each other. Because you can't charge up those Just like it didn't matter. But that doesn't 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 matter. 